You know, ladies and gentlemen, things are not getting any better. The food shortage nightmare continues. It's only going to get worse as this year goes on. It is one more nail in our coffin, if you understand what I'm saying. You have Walmart that just released that they are closing some stores at the end of April, beginning of May. You also have all the different things that are taking place over in China right now with their lockdowns that are still going on that is contributing to what is taking place here in this country. A lot of the goods and stuff just are not moving at this point in time. They can't even get the stuff into the ports. There's nobody to load the stuff onto the ships. There's nobody to unload the ships that are at their ports. The whole point of this crisis is that it is a massive crisis that we have to deal with. Food shortages in the stores isn't the only problem and it isn't the only issue. The other issue is the high price of all the food. Inflation is killing a lot of people. They're living paycheck to paycheck and having to make difficult decisions on what it is that they're going to be spending their paycheck on on a weekly basis. I'm seeing more and more people out there that are becoming homeless on my route on a daily basis. I see whole families that are out there living out of their cars. It's only going to get worse, folks. Do not become a part of the problem. You have a choice and you can control your future and you can make sure that you are prepared and have some type of a backup in case something bad happens. What are you going to do if something happens and you lose your job or one of the, you know, the breadwinners in the family loses their job or they get sick or anything else? So you see, there's more to prepping than just being ready for an SHTF situation, uh, end of the world, nuclear war, um, hurricanes and everything else. There's other things that you have to plan for. You have to think outside the box and you have to be prepared and be ready to make sure that you and your family will be taken care of in a time of need. Now that could be a sickness, an illness, a hospital stay, um, a car accident. All these different things play into it. Now you can call it being prepared. You can call it being a prepper. You can call it whatever you want. The whole point I'm trying to make here is you have to be ready. This whole bird flu thing that's going around is just incredible. And I want you to listen to something that this uh, former CDC director stated just the other day. Listen to what he has to say. Yeah, I think we have to recognize, I've always said that I think the COVID pandemic was a wake up call. I don't believe it's the great pandemic. I believe the great pandemic is still in the future, and that's going to be a bird flu pandemic for man. It's going to have significant mortality in the 10 to 50 percent range. It's going to be trouble, and we should get prepared for it. I do believe that the pandemic risk is a greater risk of the national security of the United States than Korea, China, Russia, Iran. And we ought to start investing proportional to that national security risk that we're prepared. Unfortunately, we're not more prepared today. Now that's just pretty amazing, isn't it folks? Now, what do you think? I mean, come on, you put it in the comments below. Is this just another way that they're going to try to control us? Because we all know the way they can control us it isn't with money, is with food. You have to make sure that you have food in order to survive. You have to have money to buy the food, obviously, but if all of a sudden, there's a huge shortage. Egg prices are going through the roof. I mean, the price of eggs is just incredible. Chickens going up and everything else. And a lot of the dairy products, they're through the roof. Meats going up. Um, all your paper products. Anything and everything that you use is going up. 
right down to a candy bar if you want to buy one of those. Those have all gone up in prices too. Beer, alcohol, all that kind of stuff. Everything is going up. Nothing is going down. And it's not going to be going down for the foreseeable future. For what we can see, what we can see what's coming. These are all things that play into all these different food shortages and everything else. I've been reporting on these food shortages for over two months now. And every Sunday. And it just seems like each week there's something else that's being thrown at us. There's another problem. There's another issue. They just had the first case of the bird flu found in humans. Now, if that actually takes place, it's going to make COVID look like a walk in the park. <laughs> You know, I mean, if something gets into the food supply and they don't catch it in time and a lot of people consume it, what do you think is going to happen? Put two and two together, folks. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist with a lot of this stuff. You don't have to be some top government official sitting here giving you a line of BS. And, you know, think for yourselves. You got to start thinking for yourselves. You got to get out there. You got to start doing whatever you can do. Whether that means you start a garden, if you can, it, if you have to start putting food up, canning food, um, maybe it's time for you to look into start buying freeze dried foods. Yes, they cost more, but you know what? It's a long term investment. You may pay more up front right now, but that long term investment is going to last you. 25 30 years so you always have it it'll be right there so sometimes there is a a benefit to the freeze-dried foods compared to doing everything else i would suggest that you have some of the other things but having freeze-dried foods would be a great addition to your arsenal because in the long run once you buy it it's good for a long time i mean Let's just face it, folks. We all can't go out and afford to spend two, three, four thousand dollars on a freeze dryer and do it ourselves. We just can't do it. So you can go online, you can find a lot of different companies and buy your own and be prepared. Because in the end, folks, you have to be prepared. These food shortages are going to be a nightmare in this country coming soon. We have droughts. These droughts are just like, they're un un unreal. You know, they're still going on, which is going to affect us in the long run, which is another video will be coming out. But what I'm trying to get across to you is there's so much stuff that's going on. You have to make sure that you are trying to make sure and you're planning and you're doing something to be prepared so that you and your family will survive any type of situation. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. Do whatever you can do. Because these food shortages are getting worse and worse by the day. It's only a matter of time before it comes to a city near you. Mark my words. So I'll catch you all on the flip side.